The thyroid is a small, butterfly-shaped, highly vascular, reddish-brown endocrine gland located in the front of the neck, just below the Adam's apple. It is divided into two lobes, right and left, joined together by a central part called isthmus, and overall has a weight of around 20 grams. The thyroid belongs to the endocrine system and has the task of producing thyroid hormones, in particular, triodothyronine, T3, thyroxine, T4, and calcitonin. The latter is responsible for regulating blood calcium levels, while thyroid hormones T3 and T4 control body metabolism and body temperature, increase cardiac output and respiratory ventilation, and promote brain and skeletal development of the fetus. In the course of life, however, the thyroid gland can undergo various pathological processes, which can be of an inflammatory nature such as thyroiditis, of an autoimmune nature such as graves based gout disease, but also of a tumor nature such as papillary or follicular carcinoma. When the production of thyroid hormones is altered, we speak of hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Hypothyroidism, also called underactive thyroid, occurs when the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormones to meet all of the body's needs. In hyperthyroidism, also called an overactive thyroid, the thyroid gland produces too much thyroid hormone. These are therefore two opposite pathological conditions that manifest themselves with different symptoms. Let's see what the main ones are. Intolerance to cold or heat. The thyroid is to the body the equivalent of a thermostat in a house, with the difference that we cannot raise or lower the body temperature at will. Under normal conditions, the thyroid gland independently regulates the temperature, but in the case of hypothyroidism, this thermoregulation mechanism does not work properly and the cold is felt more, not only when temperatures drop, but also during the hot seasons. This happens because not enough thyroid hormones are produced to convert and use stored energy efficiently. The body thus activates a defense system to preserve heat and does so through skin vasoconstriction, which reduces the blood flow to the hands and feet to decrease the loss of body heat. In the case of hyperthyroidism, on the other hand, the exact opposite occurs, that is an intolerance to heat is felt, as the increase in the basal metabolic rate causes a rise in body temperature, compensated by greater perspiration and peripheral vasodilatation. Appetite and Body Weight Thyroid dysfunction can have significant repercussions on appetite and consequently on body weight. Recall that the control of thyroid activity takes place by means of the so-called hypothalamic pituitary thyroid axis. In simple words, the hypothalamus releases thyrotropin-releasing hormone, TRH, which stimulates the pituitary gland to produce thyroid-stimulating hormone, TSH, which in turn stimulates the thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormones, T3 and T4. The latter, according to some studies, intervene in the regulation of appetite and indirectly on body weight. Hypothyroidism may promote weight gain, although the exact biochemical cause of this link is not fully understood. According to some hypotheses, low levels of thyroid hormones push the body to retain calories and store them in the form of fat, which therefore results in involuntary weight gain. In the case of hyperthyroidism, however, there is a loss of weight. This is because the thyroid being extremely overactive increases the basal metabolic rate of the individual, who therefore needs to take on a greater number of calories to maintain his body. If this does not happen, the hyperthyroid subject will lose weight. However, remember that both appetite and metabolism do not depend exclusively on the activity of the thyroid, but by factors of a much more complex system. Heart rate. Heart rate indicates the number of beats or contractions the heart makes in one minute. It is in the sinoatrial node, which is located in the right atrium and near the outlet of the superior vena cava that the electrical impulse originates, which spreading progressively throughout the heart muscle allow the contraction of the myocardium and therefore the heartbeat. In an adult at rest, the ideal heart rate is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. 
In the case of hypothyroidism, however, bradycardia is recorded. That is a heart rate at rest that is slower than normal, usually below 60 beats per minute. The decrease in myocardial contractility and cardiac output, that is the volume of blood expelled from a cardiac ventricle in one minute, is due to the reduced amount of thyroid hormones in the body, which we said are involved in the regulation of heart rate and on the sensitivity of the sympathetic system. In hyperthyroidism, on the other hand, tachycardia could be recorded. That is an accelerated heart rate in which the pulse at rest exceeds 100 beats per minute, up to 300 to 400 beats in the most extreme cases. Chronic tiredness. A feeling of chronic fatigue and muscle weakness can be present in both forms of thyroid dysfunction. As far as hypothyroidism is concerned, the reduced production of thyroid hormones negatively affects protein synthesis and alters metabolism at the cellular level, reducing the ability of the nervous system and muscles to burn energy. In hyperthyroidism, on the other hand, metabolic activity increases and therefore protein catabolism, that is the process in which the structural proteins of muscles are degraded to transform them into energy. Thyroid disorders can therefore have an extremely negative impact on the quality of life, as those who suffer from it feel weak, listless, and with a reduced ability to concentrate, thus making it more difficult to carry out the actions of daily life. Alterations of the menstrual cycle When the thyroid works too little or too much, it can cause alterations in the menstrual flow or menstrual cycle, as a correct amount of thyroid hormones is essential for the production of steroid hormones, such as estradiol and progesterone. In the case of hypothyroidism, the woman tends to have prolonged and abandoned menstruation, sometimes accompanied by anemia, as the excessive blood loss lowers the iron levels in the blood. Thus, we speak of menorrhagia, a medical term that indicates a menstrual cycle that occurs at regular intervals, but with excessive blood loss in quantity or duration. It is often associated with abdominal cramps, so severe that they interfere with daily activities, and in this case, the medical term dysmenorrhea is used. In women suffering from hyperthyroidism, on the other hand, an irregular menstrual cycle may be recorded, that is when menstruation occurs in advance and therefore is too close to each other, polymenorrhea, or occurs more than four days late, oligomenorrhea, until disappearing for a period of at least three months, amenorrhea. Other Symptoms Low levels of thyroid hormones can make skin dry, eyebrows thinner, and nails more brittle, making them more likely to break. An underactive thyroid can also negatively affect bowel function, as it slows bowel movements, thus promoting constipation. Conversely, an overactive thyroid can increase intestinal peristalsis and cause diarrhea. Thyroid hormones play an important role in the development and maintenance of hair follicles, epidermal formations that have the task of producing the cells that will then form the hair. When the thyroid works too much or too little hair tends to become dry, dull and brittle, consequently increasing the risk of breaking and therefore falling out. In cases of severe hypothyroidism and in some forms of hyperthyroidism, such as Graves' disease, myxedema can arise, which is a particular form of edema that causes the accumulation of fluid in the subcutaneous tissue, usually on the legs and around the eyes. In the latter case, we speak of exophthalmos, that is when one or both eyeballs protrude beyond the palpebral fissure. When the thyroid gland is overactive, however, the central nervous system is negatively affected, favoring the onset of some sleep disorders, such as insomnia. Hyperthyroidism is also frequently associated with mood swings, nervousness, irritability, and anxiety. Each of the symptoms mentioned, taken individually, are not sufficient to self-diagnose hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. However, it is important to always talk to your doctor and undergo the necessary tests to ascertain or exclude thyroid disease. 
To measure the levels of thyroid hormones, a simple blood sample is sufficient. While to obtain more detailed information on the shape and structure of the thyroid, thyroid ultrasound is used. A quick and painless examination, which consists in sliding a high-frequency probe on the patient's neck, previously sprinkled with a transparent gel to facilitate the transmission of ultrasounds.